This has got to be one of the most underrated tractor attachments that you can add to your tractor. This is going to be an installation video for the 20 series or bad boy 50 series style cabs. It's a rear lever that operates your three point. This is really helpful when you're hooking up attachments so that you don't have to go around into the cab of the tractor to run your three point lever on the inside. Everything nice and handy back here where you can get to it. Now these are model and cab or non-cab specific. So you can look at our website and see the differences between them. These kits are super simple to install. We make these as a DIY kit. They come with all the hardware and you can get them on our website. I'll drop a link to that in the description. So this is exactly how it comes out of the box. All the hardware is just finger tight, exactly where it needs to go. And as far as the tools you'll need, a couple of half inch wrenches, be nice to have a ratcheting half inch wrench. You got a couple of half inch sockets, one deep, one shallow, and a three quarter, all in three eighths drive. Now, if you wanna make it really easy on yourself, just go ahead and remove your tire and wheel. You can probably get to all these with the tire and wheel on, but what you're trying to get to is your three point lever in the cab. We're gonna mechanically tie to that lever. So this is the best way to get easy access by just going ahead and removing that tire. The first thing we're gonna install is this bracket that ties to the actual three point lever that's on the tractor. And we're gonna disassemble this little bracket and it's gonna go back the same way. We're just spinning them on enough to where we can have a good hold but still be able to pivot this around once we install the lever. This portion will take this portion apart. So this is gonna be basically your anchoring point or your pivot point. It's gonna tie into the frame of the tractor right there. Putting this plate on, you just need to make sure that that is pointing upwards, the pivot point. As he puts those four bolts through, we're gonna make sure that this bolt is facing that direction. Snug these up enough to where you can have a little bit of friction to slide this bracket about as far up as you can slide it. So you want this bolt pretty much touching this sheet metal there. And then you can go ahead and snug this thing all the way down. So now to install the handle, really important that you get your your nylon washer there in between your bracket and your handle. That's the portion we're gonna use to actually set the tension. You see he's 
kind of rotating the handle as he's tightening it there because you want kind of that sweet spot where you want enough tension where this thing's not going to try to drift on you but not so much tension that you're that you're making it harder to run your three-point lever inside the cab Now we're just lining up our linkage piece here. So we can kind of get this into the correct spot. Yeah, so we're just, just laying that there for now just to make sure that we get the first piece we put on snugged up. The reason we leave it loose is so that you can you can make an adjustment at this point right now. We're gonna snug those down and we'll get all the proper hardware for the linkage bar. So nylon washer in between, and then your washer and then a nylock nut. don't want to put too much tension on these two, but you want to make sure that you are engaging the nylon in that lock nut. Probably the same for the rear. And you got the same, same hardware set up here on this rear post. Got to leave that one loose enough to get it. And we're just going to snug both of those down. And you can double check your tension here at the pivot point, make sure that you're happy with it. And that's it. You've got a functioning rear three point lift lever. Maybe you've got lungs to move. Maybe you've got.